story out of Detroit. Now the city of Detroit is being sued for overtaxing residents in predominantly black areas. Now you have a law firm by the name of Goldman, Ismail, Tomaselli, Brendan and Baum LLP filed a lawsuit against the city. It's a state tax commission in Wayne County on Thursday reported that the coalition for property tax justice announced the proceedings during a press conference at city hall on the same day. So according to the suit residents, were overcharged for property taxes between 2010 to 2017. And this resulted in state ordered uh, reassessment of all properties in Detroit in 2017. So the plaintiffs are claiming that the city mailed the assessments late that year, leaving residents too little time to appeal any over evaluation of their new assets. So it's in Michigan's constitution uh, states that a property cannot be assessed more than 50% of its worth. However, research uh, conducted by the Chicago Kent College a uh, law professor, Bernadette Atuhini, um, determined homeowners were being over assessed by 55 to 85%. She also determined 95% of low value homes were over assessed while high value homes were low ball. Wow. So they said they was interviewed by Democracy Now last week and described the effects of tax foreclosures they have had on the city. So they said, the first thing I want to know is in Detroit, we have one in four homes that's going through property tax foreclosure. One in four, we have seen this number of property tax foreclosure in American history since the Great Depression. So look at the dirt they're doing. So they jacking up the value of black people's homes, raising the taxes where they can't afford it. Then the home that's high end, they're lowering the taxes. So they can base it. So is that your way of like removing black people out of their area by property taxes? Ooh, that's dirty. And then a lot of politicians in Detroit are black. This is why you have to really pay attention to the sellouts. The sellouts will do things like this. They'll get their nickels and dimes from them folks while these folks got a plan to take that area away from black people and put up new condos and do all kinds of things over there. And then that whole area is going to be white all over again. This is the dirt that they're going through. Then they said outside of Detroit, uh, municipalities of Wayne County, there's three that was super majority African American, 70% or more, Detroit, Inkster, and Highland Park. It's saying each of those majority black cities are being subjected to unconstitutional tax assessment and foreclosure at a greater rate than the majority white cities. So it's done by design because they're doing it to everybody. The white people are dealing with the same issue too. Once again, black people are being sabotaged in America. And when you remove yourself from these situations, yes, they're suing and they should be able to win that lawsuit, but the sabotage continues of black people. But if a black person say, you know what? I'm sick of the sabotage. I'm sick of dealing with this crap. My community can't protect me like that in this country because it's so systemic. It's out of my community's hands because my community is real fractured to deal with these issues and problems. And they took a trip and maybe they went to a Kenya and say, wow, I like it over here, man. I can buy some land and I'm not being sabotaged. I can buy some, uh, a home and I ain't got to worry about them jacking the prices up. I don't have to worry about that while I lose my house. Now I can live in peace. Understand this is why black people do what they do. And they're sick of being sabotaged in America. They are sick of it. They are sick of it. And we don't have anything to protect us. The federal government not gonna protect us. And let me tell you about that. The federal government can come up with a law to today, but would the city and the States enforce that law? You can look, prime example. You have a thing called sanctuary cities and that's against the law. That's against federal law, but the city and States do what they want. That's the flaw of America Well, states rights. No, it should be one law only federal law. It shouldn't be no state's rights. It shouldn't be no city create this law and the next city got another law that's used to create a loophole. So they don't have to follow the laws. That's what it's created for. At least in the continent, wherever the laws are, is the law that apply to all the cities for the most part. This is what black people are going through. They target black people, jack up the value of their home. They can't pay the taxes on it. Then they foreclose on the home, take it for foreclosure. So they can steal black people's property. But you cow, you cowards for running. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> so I say it's a dumb thing to say. It's a stupid thing you, a lot of you saying. When I'm getting these stories of black people just, just going through it in America. Going really through it in America. Have another black folk sell out to drown us even faster. So they can get a few nickels and dimes. A bunch of Judas is running around the black community. Trust me on that. They get their money and they good. But when it comes to the rest of us, we sabotage. It's sickening. But leave me a comment in those things about this particular story out of Detroit. But you brothers and sisters dealing with that, you suing, that's a good thing that you are doing that, but lawsuits take time. But this is why I say we need to deal with these issues much as possible. We need to come back to the South, get a power base, if you're gonna be in America at least, and then also try the continent. We have trips coming up in September and October. Go just to see for yourself. You can share in which I will ask those questions in South Africa and Kenya. How do you feel America sabotages you? I, I guarantee you we have stories for days when we ask that question.